Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Well now, in this video, I am going to share you how to connect this CMF Buds Pro TWS earbuds by Nothing brand. So if you are using this TWS earbud means, in this video, I am going to share you how to connect this earbuds to the new device, whether it's a new laptop or a new Android phone or iPhone. First thing is that you want to install the Nothing X application in your smartphone. And the main highlight on this CMF Buds Pro is that it has an app support for both iPhone and Android smartphone and if you are iPhone users this CMF Buds Pro TWS earbuds by nothing is one of the best TWS earbuds for iPhone users and also in this CMF Buds Pro TWS earbuds there is a Google Fastpair and then Microsoft Swift pair connection whenever you open the charging case door so it automatically enters into the pairing mode and also it has a Google Fastpair so that you can able to get a Google Fastpair window you can directly click the connect option so like this you can able to see a google fastpair window you need to just click on the connect option in case you can't able to see like this google fastpair and you are using the iphone means for iphones there is a no google fastpair connection support so in that case so you can able to find that in the available device list under the bluetooth settings and even here also you can't able to find the earbuds means then you need to go to the manual pairing mode so to enter the manual pairing mode just to open the charging case and now in the charging case you can able to see a key here just to press and hold for few seconds so after few seconds of holding now you can able to see a white light blinks on this led indicator now after that now you can able to see the google fastpair window in your smartphone if it is not shown means just to go to the bluetooth settings first of all and in the available device list you can able to find the buds pro so here it is after connected also you can able to link with the google fastpair just to click to pair click on the allow access and click on the pair option so after connected so after connected also you can able to see a dialog box like this you need to just click on the save button and that's it after that click on the done now the earbuds has been successfully linked with the google fastpair and also the earbuds pad already so in case in your uh, earbuds if it actually shows sbc codec means so these earbuds supported with the aac and sbc codec if it is show sbc codec means just click on the i button and here click on the media audio and switch over to the hd so now you can able to see the aac codec so now this is the way and after that you need to open the nothing application so just to install the nothing x app and open the nothing x application now once you open the application click on the plus icon so after connected with the bluetooth now you can able to see the buds pro here click on this and that's it now the device has been pad you need to click on the setup this device click on the next that's all now this is the home page interface of the nothing x application so in this app you can able to see all the features so you can able to see the earbuds battery and case battery as well to find the case battery you need to place both the earbuds in the charging case then only you can able to see the case battery if you take any one of the earbud also you can't able to see the case battery in the application so if you want to see what is the case battery percentage you need to place both the earbuds into the cmf buds pro charging case and the case door lid should be in the open condition in that situation you can easily see the case battery percentage and after that in this application here is the noise control option you can switch over between noise cancellation transparency mode and after that here is the equalizer settings and control settings you can customize the earbuds touch functions so under the controls so this cmf buds pro has all touch functions for double tap you can set it to play pause so now this is the left earbud so right from here you can switch over to left and right once you click on this image itself it switch over to the right earbud for right earbud you can again select a play pause and after that for triple tap so whatever your wish you can select as per your wish so for left earbud i am selected skip back and for right earbud i am selected skip forward and tap and hold there is a default noise control option if you want a voice assistant means so you can use it under tap and hold function or triple tap function or under the double tap function also so as per your preference you can set it up the touch function and finally here is a double tap and hold 
told so this function by default so it is actually set it to the no action but you can use this function for volume control once you selected for the left i selected volume down and on for right earbud i selected the volume up so now once you've done that to control the volume so you need to just wear the earbud because this earbud comes with the in-ear detection support to turn off the in-ear detection so in the nothing x app home page click on this settings option and here is the in-ear detection option you need to turn off this option by default this option enabled you need to disable this option and there is a game mode also if you are a gamer means you can enable this option so this will reduce the latency and then if you are a first time user means there is a firmware update for this year but once you click on the firmware update there is a new update small uh, minor update so you need to update the firmware so during the firmware update you need to place both the earbuds into the case and the earbuds and the case battery should be above 30 percentage of battery at that condition you can just click on the update it actually takes only five minutes only to complete the firmware update and again going back to the control section so to control the volumes you need to use the single tap and hold actually the brand claims that the double tap and hold for the volume switch over but if you do the double tap and hold for example so this is the left ear but so if i am actually do the double tap and hold uh, if i do the double tap and hold means then the function will not actually works so you will not able to control the volume you need to do the single tap and hold so which means you need to just do the single tap and on the second time you have to uh, press and hold so that is the point i am just doing now single tap and then press and hold so now I, you can able to see that volume has been reducing continuously so this is the point so likewise you can able likewise you can also so increase the volume also using the right ear but therefore you need to use the single tap and hold function to adjust the volume controls right from the earbud and also if you are uh, not turned off the in-ear detection means then you need to wear the earbuds then only you can able to access the touch functions so if you are not wear the earbuds then the touch functions will not work and then finally moving on to the equalizer settings so here by default uh, this cmf buds pro comes with the balanced mode in the balanced mode you can able to get a high volume and the bass is flat so you will not get some uh, boom like bass effect but at the same time you can able to adjust the equalizer as per your preference i adjusted the equalizer to these settings to adjust the equalizer it has the three options bass mid and then treble you need to just move these three dots so for mid i selected plus six point for treble also i selected six point and for bass also i moved to plus six point after done this equalizer settings now the audio quality is much better than this balanced mode well overall using this method you can easily connect this uh, cmf buds pro tws earbuds by nothing brand to any new device and also using the nothing x application you can customize lot more new functions well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys